Hi there, welcome to this short and to the point video on vaccination. This video will explain you the benefits of vaccination, the concerns, the safety of vaccination and the possible side effects. If you want to learn a little bit more, I also made an in-depth video. You can find the link to that video in the description. Feel free to check that one out. And first, before I want to start with the video, a little disclaimer. This video is meant purely informational. This is not medical advice and if you're looking for medical advice, please contact your own doctor. So let's get into it. What are vaccines actually? Um, vaccines resemble a bacteria or a virus in a weakened or dead form. And when you're injected with this weakened or dead form, um, your immune system recognizes the potential threat uh, and destroys it. And therefore, the next time when you would encounter the real virus or the real bacteria that normally would make you very sick, this time, um, your immune system already recognized it once and it will do it faster, therefore destroys it faster and you won't get that sick. And this is what's called partial immunity. So what are the benefits of vaccination? Um, first of all, it's one of the greatest healthcare achievements we had in the 20th century and it helped us eradicating and controlling a lot of infectious disease that previously led to many, many deaths. Therefore, uh, it's one of our great tools in prevention and it saves a lot of money. That's why governments like it partially, uh, because people don't get that sick, they don't need to uh, be taken to the hospital and it's cheaper for the healthcare, but also better for the patients because they don't get that sick. And therefore, it's implemented in 168 countries worldwide. Unfortunately, there are also some uh, concerns, and this is mostly because vaccines are way too effective. All the diseases where we vaccinate for uh, are in a major decline. So we're not familiar anymore with the impact of some of these diseases, like polio, which is a terrible disease, but nobody has ever seen someone with polio, so we don't really know. And that's why risk of vaccination gets more important every day. People start to ask, what are the concerns when I vaccinate my child? And this leads to a decline in routine vaccinations because of par parent refusals. And this may lead to outbreaks of preventable uh, diseases. And this can have severe consequences. Firstly, for the child which is not vaccinated because it can get really, really sick from the disease where it normally, when it would be vaccinated, wouldn't get that sick. And secondly, we have something that's called herd immunity. And herd immunity is when everybody in a community is vaccinated, then um, we all have a good defense against this virus or this bacteria, and it won't be able to spread because we don't get symptoms and we don't um, give it to another person. And in order to have herd immunity, 90 to 95% of all people need to be um, vaccinated. And when it's lower than that, the disease can spread. And this is especially um, worrisome for children who are too weak to be vaccinated themselves because they are sick, for example, uh, when they have cancer, or when they have immune deficiencies. So this is really sad and that's, that is why it's really important to all get vaccinated. And then you, of course, ask yourself, but are those vaccines safe? Um, there are claims that a vaccine may cause autism in children or even leukemia, but there is no evidence for this. There is uh, extensive studies has been done to, the, to those claims, but never any causal evidence has been found. But still, uh, the worries in certain parents persist. So this is very um, worrisome. You need to know that safety is a very important topic in national immunization programs. Countries and organizations do everything to maintain the highest possible safety by surveillances and scientific studies to adverse effects and side effects. And that is why today I want to go through all the routine vaccines used in children and tell you in a nutshell all the side effects. If you want to learn more, I also made an in-depth uh, in video. You can find the link in the description and there I will uh, talk about the side effects per vaccine. So those are the routine uh, vaccines. You have DTAP, hepatitis, influenza, meningococcal, MMR, pneumococcal, rotol and varicella. These are most commonly used in children younger than six years. So they have some side effects but they are mostly mild. 
and 1 to 10 percent of all children or maybe a little bit more you can see uh, a, look, a reaction at the injection site so some pain redness swelling they can have a fever for a few days upwards of 38 degrees they can uh, cry a little bit more be a little bit more irritable there can be some nauseousness vomiting diarrhea low appetite but nothing severe and a headache fatigue and drowsiness are also seen only in very rare cases we can see serious side effects and this is mostly in immune compromised children or in children who are, who are already very sick so healthy children have almost nothing to worry about and of the serious side effects we mostly see infections um, or an allergic reaction but this is only see one in a million uh, of all children then as a take-home message Vaccines are extremely effective. They help us to fight against this uh, pesquious infectious diseases. And it's important that we all get vaccinated so we have herd immunity and so that uh, children who are too weak to be vaccinated themselves will not be uh, getting the disease from us. So that's important. Furthermore, vaccines are safe, uh, especially for children who are not sick themselves and who do not have uh, immune uh, deficiencies. They can have mild symptoms like nausea, a headache, pain at the reject, uh, reaction site and maybe a uh, low fever for a few days but nothing serious and very rarely we see something serious like an allergic reaction or an infection. And there, once again there is no evidence for a link between vaccination and autism or vaccination and leukemia. So this was in a nutshell my video on vaccination. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, ask them in the comment section. And if you want to learn a little bit more, I made an in-depth video. You can find the link to that video in the description. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos. See you soon. Bye-bye.